Richard Lee from Cisco Japan. Today I would like to show you how to troubleshoot the connectivity issue caused by interference using the Cisco Clean Air and NCS. Let's say a user called me this morning saying that he had some connectivity issue last night at the briefing center during 8 o'clock to 8 half. Now as an IT manager, I will go back to check the log. With all the logs showing no indication of outage, I will come back to the user and rely on my experience and say, look, it might be caused by some interference, but I don't really have any evidence, right? Now, if the user keeps on asking, really? I think I was the only person around that area at that time, and I don't see any so-called interference. Now, what kind of interference is on your mind? Well, if I be asked such, an, such kind of questions, I won't be able to answer because I do not really know and I don't have any evidence. Now with the Cisco Clean Air and the NCS, um, I can actually troubleshoot such an interference um, connectivity issue more effectively. Now let me show you how to do that. Now we are looking at the screen of an NCS. And first I would like to generate some reports about the interference. So let's go to the report. Report Launchpad. From the Report Launchpad, you can access all the report that can be generated by the NCS. Now let's generate a report called what? Worst Interference. And let's give the title of uh, Troubleshooting. Troubleshooting. And also, I want to narrow down uh, the floor area based on the report from the user. So it will be Tokyo Midtown and Tokyo CBC Customer Briefing Center. Also, I want to narrow down the time period um, to look into to search for the interference. Now let's say I narrow down for one hour window from 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock. And I click Run. To generate this report. Now uh, the NCS has generated the report of a listed interference which was which were detected at a specific time at a specific floor area. Now it's a best practice to start from the highest severity which is 31 and the device type was Bluetooth discovery. Now the system will assign an interference ID to each of the interference so that we can track down all the devices. Interferer. And let me copy this interferer ID. And let me go to advanced search and specify that I want to search for this interferer using the interferer ID. I'm going to pass to the interferer ID here. And I'm going to search in all the history and search for all the type, all the status in the interference. Now let me click go. It will give me the list of this interference that match this uh, criteria. Now let me go ahead and click the interferer ID here. It will give me the more detailed information about this interferer. As I can say, as I can see here, the interferer was detected uh, at 817 or 818 last night. And I also want to be more specific about the location of this interferer. So I choose the location history and I click run. It will give me where this interferer is on the floor map during that time. As you can see, the interferer was moving around during that period of time. And I can actually see the severity of the interferer was actually 31 when it's in the briefing center. Now with this kind of information, now as an IT manager, I can go back to the user and saying, look, um, I think it's the Bluetooth discovery devices walking around the area that are causing you the connectivity problem.
In this simple demo, I explained how you can troubleshoot interference more effectively with Cisco Clean Air and NCS. This is just one single example, and more management tasks can be performed with Cisco Clean Air and NCS. Thank you very much for watching this demo video, and good luck running your own wireless network. Thank <laughs> you.